This Facebook ad spy tool feels illegal, but it's the most unfair advantage you could have. It scrapes your competitors top five video ads and breaks down exactly why they're working. The hook, the script structure, the emotional triggers, and sends everything in a clean report before you even wake up. I used to spend three hours a week doing this manually for clients, but now it's completely automated inside of NADN. Let me show you what it sent me this morning, and then I'll walk you guys through the entire build and the free template. All right, so we are inside of Airtable where we have the latest run here of a ad library pool from instant hydration we ran this earlier today so i'm just going to pull up the doc and then we can take a look at the actual analysis so as you can see we just have a deep analysis report right here where we have scraped ad number one we have scraped ad number two number three four and five and for the actual analysis, we're pulling in a couple of things. We are pulling in the actual ad link. We apologize to anyone who's ever bought instant hydration from our videos because we lied. So we have the actual creative. We have the awareness level the ad is targeting, which in this case is solution aware. We have the angle, which is intrigue and scarcity. We pull the target audience, which is health conscious individuals, fitness enthusiasts, and anyone seeking effective clean hydration solutions. And then we just go into a analysis of the actual transcript. So you can see right here that we pull the transcript line by line. So the hook here is we apologize to anyone who has bought instant hydration from our videos. And then we have the hook provocative apology and then we have the because we lied which is intrigue a deceptive claim setup and then we just go into the script line by line where we have like preemptive justification with some truth acknowledgement and unique mechanism with clean ingredients we continue talking about the unique mechanism superior ingredient source and then some villain framing and discussing competitor shortcomings to so basically just break down the script line by line and then at the end we basically do a full analysis of why the script works so we go into to the big idea, which in this case is the central lie framework that creates immediate intrigue, compelling the viewer to stay to understand what was lied about. This leverages curiosity to hold attention. We go into fear from fear to relief. The initial we lied creates a minor sense of unease or curiosity, which is then relieved by the reveal that the lie is actually a positive development. We talk about villain framing. We talk about the unique mechanism, proof stack, scarcity and urgency, and then the root cause revelation. So basically just summarizing why this script is working well and then we basically just go through the same thing for each ad you will see in some cases that we have this js null output for the awareness levels this is just gemini not being fully able to always run the actual analysis so in some cases you just do have to run it again not a big issue in most cases it works just fine but yeah that is one kind of like downside of the analysis right now especially like when you're doing pretty big analysis like this the flow might miss a couple of details every now and then but overall it works super well and is definitely super valuable if you're still kind of like scrolling ad libraries for hours on end and obviously like keeping tabs on your competitors ad with that said this is obviously built inside of edit n pretty meaty workflow we got going on right here for the api for scraping ad library we are using foreplay so we're just using their api really solid credit system just one credit for each ad pull very reasonable um in my opinion highly recommend you guys test them for any sort of like ad library scraping flows and then obviously the dashboard or the reports right here are held inside of Airtable. So those are kind of like the three main tools or platforms that you will need for running this flow. Now, inside of NDN, I'll quickly go through the flow. We start by grabbing the record ID right here from Airtable, which is this run that we just had, which is this ID right here. We then grab the actual page ID, which in this case was Instant Hydrations, Facebook page ID, which we then pass into Foreplay's API, just using a regular HTTP request node, using their get ads by page ID documentation to pull the page ID via the Facebook page ID. In terms of the order, we are pulling the longest running ads that are still active or set as live equals true, which means that the ads are still running. We limit to the top 10 ads in this case, is, this case which is for all ads that are videos. So we, we are only pulling video ads in this case. And then at the bottom right here, we just have the authorization and then we have the bear and then my API key. I won't show that right here because I'm actually using this API key, but that's pretty much it for the formatting in the documentation according to foreplay we then basically just have everything split out all the details for the or all the items for the 10 unique ads so we get kind of like a uh, description right here we get the cta title we get kind of like a transcript timestamp right here for each line as well we get the full transcript here at the bottom we get the link url which is the landing page thumbnail down here 
and then we get the actual video URL. So if I just copy and paste this. We apologize this. to anyone who's ever bought yeah. instant hydration. Video URL. So we basically can just get that for all of the 10 ads that we scraped. And then we pass everything into the first edit fields node where we're basically just mapping out a couple of fields. So we have the ad archive ID. We make sure that the ads are obviously active. We have the body copies. We have the CTA types. We have the captions, the titles, CTA texts. We have the content URL, which is the actual video. We have the link URL, the total active time, the start date, the total active days running, content type, which in this case would be video cards, and then the ad library URL. We basically just run through to remove any duplicates and then we run into the first filter right here which is filtering by ads running longer than 14 days if not we discard them so in this case we would discard one ad so and kept nine and then we just have a sorting node right here to basically just filter or order the top running ads by total active days so we pull and basically have an order of the ads running by how many days they've been running we then just limit that to the highest top five running ads so we pull the top five and then we send everything into a code node which we are then parsing all this data so we have the body the cta the caption the title and the cta text for those five top performing ads and then we just have this output as a json field right here we then merge all the data using this merge node and then we pass everything into a if node right here which is basically just filtering for the ad archive id being empty and then we just pass everything into a second if node again just filtering by ad archive id not being empty so in this case all five ads is obviously true if not we would go down the false branch they are not empty so they go through the true branch which you then pass up into the second http request node which is pulling the actual content url which is the we video. apologize to any Anyone who's so you can see right here that we have video one, we have video, we apologize, two, we have video three. I use instant hydration because it has 75% of Americans are chronic and video five. Yeah, might take a second here, but essentially we've pulled the actual content URLs for the five videos that we scraped. We then basically just turn them from a file URL into a base64 string. This is just to map them later in the flow a little bit easier by passing it into a base64 file instead of a video URL. We can map it a lot easier and pass it through the flow at a later stage, but we essentially have all- of the We apologize right to here, anyone. Just now as a base64 file. We then merge that with the CTA and all of the ad details from earlier and just merge that together. We pass that into an if node up here, which is basically just filtering by length and that we have an, a length here that is for the video. Basically, it just means that we have videos with any certain length going on. So again, we just have we the apologize. five videos map right here. And then we just push this up into a switch node, which is routing based on if the scraped content is a video or an image. So in this case, we have the content type mapped as either video or the content type as image in this case we obviously have five videos right here so we map them to the video branch and then we pass them up into these two nodes right here the google gemini node and the http request node going to deepgram for transcribing the actual video so in this case with deepgram we're basically sending all of the five videos to pull the full transcription which you can see we get over here on the right i won't go through the documentation right here but we're basically just passing all of the files or all of the videos according to deepgram's documentation right here to get the or pull the transcript from the videos second we are passing all of the videos into a google gemini node to analyze the actual videos to basically update the scraped content from meta ad library we wanted to identify and summarize the key elements right here that could inform ad research including the main visual components the text elements any emotional triggers any offers discounts or incentives the brand messaging and tone and any noticeable patterns or unique creative choices we then basically just tell it to output the result in json following structure so we have the analysis, the awareness level, and then the target audience. And this is obviously what we pull into the final report. We then merge the video analysis with the transcript and then basically just map everything in a, another edit fields node right here where we have the content or video analysis. We have the ad archive ID, we have the transcript, we have the awareness level, the angle and the target audience. Obviously, if we were scraping images, we would just route everything down here where we just have the analyze image node and then we would be mapping the exact same things. Again, we just map all of the output right here with all of the ad details from earlier that we pulled from foreplay. And then we pass everything into this code node which is parsing all the data together so we have the content url the content type total active days the transcript the output and then we just have the awareness level analysis right here as you can see we have everything mapped together it returned everything as a combined text item and then you can see that right here as the output 
We then pass that full output into this basic LLM chain, which is doing an analysis. So you can see right here that we have the ad library data, which we basically merge everything into this combined text field right here. And then we just basically have it be a senior direct response copy chief trained by top advertisers. The job is to analyze winning ads and reverse engineer their structure, persuasive flow and psychological techniques. Only use proven direct response methodologies, no branding fluff and no assumptions. When a user pays the scripts, you are to perform the following. Preserve every line exactly as written, no rewriting or summarizing. Label each line using bracketed tags based on its persuasive function. Use specific high resolution tags such as like hook, story setup, symptom onset, and so on. And again, this is what we're pulling into the final report, right? Where we have the actual line by line breakdown of the transcript from the videos. And then we have it diagnose why it works. And then we have it just reference the frameworks like a big idea, fear to, fear to relief, identity, resonance, root cause, revelation, villain framing, unique mechanism, social proof, and scarcity and urgency. Then we just basically have some output format requirements where the output should contain the fully tied script and a sharp tactical breakdown explaining why it works. Then we just have some rules here at the bottom in terms of like never generate new copy, never omit lines. And then we just have some examples of what the output should look like. We then start passing everything back into Airtable. So right here, we're just matching the record ID from the run. We map in the ad library URL. We map in the target audience, which was determined from the analysis, the angle, the awareness level, the full transcript, the deep analysis of the transcript, and then the analysis of the video. Then we put in just the, the actual video, the start date, how many days the ads have been running, and then obviously just like what the brand competitor name is. Then we just map this full analysis as a full report, and we have the output just be the JSON combined text output right here which we are then sending into a markdown node to basically prepare to turn into a Google Doc. So we just paste that in right here and just have this as data. We then send everything through into another code node, which is basically preparing the request right here. I just had a dev alongside ChatGPT work with the... Uh, <laughs> or help me with this part because I'm definitely not a coder, so I need some help here. But what we are essentially doing here is basically just taking all of the data from the markdown analysis and turning it into something that can be created or turned into a Google Doc. We then basically just have it generate the report using a Google Doc right here with all of the raw data, which is the actual output analysis. Then we just have it generate that and upload to a Google Drive. Then we have a final edit fields node right here where we just have the URL to the actual report, which we then map in Airtable. Then you can see right here, now we have the name, we have the research, the date ran, the research doc URL, and obviously just the, the competitor brand name again. And then if anything happens, we just have to loop through the entire flow one more time. If for some reason we don't really, or we hit an error of some sort, so we weren't able to map everything right here. We just run through the entire flow one more time using this loop over items node. But that's pretty much the entire flow. It's a pretty meaty flow. Obviously when it's this complex, you do run into some limitations or risks, I guess, about like getting errors like this. So it might make sense to, you know, simplify the flow a little bit or almost have this be too flows where we have the scraping in one flow which then triggers a subflow that does the analysis but in this case i just wanted to test kind of like really automating the full competitor ad analysis scraping and analysis part so there you have it that is the facebook ad spy tool that scrapes your competitors top forming ads and does a full analysis on why the ads are working and sends that as a report with zero effort needed on your end the free end to end template is linked in the description below just download it connect it to your accounts and you're good to go that's it if you want help building ai solutions for your business or for your clients i build these all the time for agencies and e-com brands there's a link in the description below to book a quick call no pressure at all just to see if we're a good fit and with that said Take a look at the video I made right here where I walk through how you can build high quality AI UGC videos using Sora 2 and NNN. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.